Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick, illustrator for Gina K Designs, and I'm so grateful you could join me today. I have a brand new stamp set to share. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay friends, here is the stamp set and here is the coordinating die set. And there's a little something I'd like to share with you. With tonight's release and with all of the new releases coming, you can get the stamp set and the um, the die set as a bundle. So you can buy the stamp set by itself or you can buy the stamp set and the die set as a bundle. It's something new that Gina is starting and it's super exciting. So let's dive in and take a peek at all of the elements in the stamp set. I'm going to walk you through it. We're going to look at the inspiration and I'm going to talk about a few other things. Okay, okay friends, let's go ahead in and take a peek at the stamp set. Let me just move this. We've got our coordinating die set. So here are all of the elements in this stamp set. Now I wanted to do a spring flower this time and it was inspired by this painting that I did that I was just playing around on a Sunday afternoon and I wanted to kind of create a daffodil or just a spring flower and kind of do a really fun background. So I just kind of kept playing around and playing around until I kind of got to this kind of look and feel in um, my watercolor project. And I was like, holy smokes, I really, really loved the way it came out. And I was like, hmm, let's see if we can make that into a stamp so that everyone could enjoy it. So that's what happened. And that's how I ended up creating this super fun stamp set. Okay, so we've got this big honkin' floral piece. That's a daffodil with a little bit of the daffodils going in opposite directions and opening. And I've got that little tiny heart that I put in there um, just for some fun and a little bit of whimsy. And we've got some two-step stamping options here with this daffodil so that you can stamp in the color as you see fit. You can do different colors. You can also, that piece of leafery right there can be inked up or colored. So lots of options. And what I really like about having the silhouette versions of the flowers or the floral elements that I create is that you can also use these solids by themselves and you can die cut them out. And I'm going to show you some examples of that. I like to, to create those in my stamp sets for you because you can create patterns with them and you have lots of other options for using your flowers. If you don't like to color in flowers, or if you do like the two-step stamping. So you've got lots of different options. Okay, I've got a little bit of leafery in this set and I have another little bloom just to add some more detail. And then I've got this big honkin' element here, which is a, a diamond shaped background that's just really, really fun to use. And I've got the sentiment here called, I hope this this makes you smile today. So this is what it looks like on the stamp set. So it might not be a ton of stamps, but look at these two big honkin' stamps um, in the set. Super, super fun. And we've got dies. I've got that big honkin' die to be able to cut out that entire element. And then some smaller dies to be able to cut these pieces out individually which is really, really nice. So that's what I meant about you being able to use the elements interchangeably as a two-step stamping option, or you can use them as separate options. I also have the die for the leafery bits, and we've got the die for the sentiment, which is super fun. And then we have this really fun backgrounder. Okay. Let's dive in and take a look at the inspiration. Let's go ahead. And okay, this card is super fun. I've used the background and I've also done some water coloring. I've cut that entire piece out um, so that you can have some fun with that. This is a really, really fun sentiment that's coming out tonight in a brand new sentiment set called Wishing You a Journey Paved with Joy. I just love that sentiment. Thought it was super inspirational. Okay. 
Here is my next card I wanted to share with you. And I did a little bit of masking with this card and did our background, uh, that diamond background to just kind of create this really nice abstract look, but also have that beautiful flower just kind of um, watercolored in. I just love that. No sentiment on the front yet. I think I've got, I'm going to put a sentiment on the inside. Now here's an example of a card. Looks like I've got a little something there. A little example of a card where I used that floral just by itself. Use that little bloom by itself. And you could easily change out the colors. I know it's a daffodil. Daffodils are bell flowers. So they're absolutely beautiful. You could change out the color and just kind of make it look like a different kind of flower to match whatever it is that you're doing in your paper crafting project. Love this. And I love the sentiment. I hope this makes you smile today. So super simple, clean card. Use some fresh asparagus to just kind of go along with that beautiful green that we've got going in the leafery. Love it. Okay. Now, here is a prime example of what I was talking about using the silhouette images. Here they are die cut. They're stamped into a beautiful cascade pattern, kind of going off of the card. And then I highlighted a few of them in some sweet corn, uh, wild dandelion, and sweet mango. Nope, that's tangerine. And just did a little tiny leafery element here with the sentiment just to kind of bring it all together in the design. Super, super simple. Okay. Here is an, the next example that I had to share with you. Um, and this is where I did some two-step stamping combined with a little bit of Copic coloring and did a little masking off to do my background. I really kind of, really kind of dig in it. Super simple, easy coloring. Love this project. Oh, this card, oops, it's, an, it's a blank. This card, I think that this card is my favorite. I think it's my favorite. I absolutely love it. I did a little bit of Copic coloring. I haven't done some Copic coloring in a while. And I did a little bit of Copic marker coloring. And then I just love that. I hope this makes you smile today. Die cut out. Look at that organic shape. How fun is that? I absolutely love that. Okay. Now, as with all of my stamp sets, I've got a brand new card idea sheet with eight card ideas for you. Um, you can pick this up at, um, you can pick this up in the Gina K Designs Facebook group, or you can head over to my website at indigojadeart.com, click on the free downloads link, and boom, shampoo, it's there. Okay, let's take another look at the stamp set and the coordinating die set. This is Smile Today. It is available now at ginakdesigns.com in the What's New section. I can't wait for you to get this stamp set and I can't wait to see what you create. Thanks so much for watching. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. And you can watch more card and watercolor tutorials here.